Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Minitab Graphic Capabilities Hello and welcome to Simply Learn's e-learning course on Minitab. This is the fourth of the five sessions that one needs to go through to complete the Minitab training. There are quizzes at the end of every session and you are strongly advised to answer them before you move on to the next session. The full session takes you through the graphic capabilities of Minitab and how we can create graphs to represent our analysis of the data. Agenda Let us now look at the agenda of this session. In this session, we will learn how to create and interpret in Minitab the following seven graphs. Business scenarios in which these graph tools are used. Pareto chart. Histogram. Normality test. Marginal plot. Box plot. Scatter plot. Matrix plot. Let us now look at creating each one of the above in detail. Business scenarios. Let us first understand the common business scenarios under which the graphical tools of Minitab are used. Organizations use these tools to understand and interpret data for taking key business decisions. Without plotting data as graphs, the information is very difficult to interpret. Some examples of business scenarios that will be used in this session to explain the graphs include Analyze defects data to identify areas where most defects are originating from. This is also called distinguishing vital few from the trivial many, so that you can focus your emphasis on resolving the vital few. Analyze the shape and spread of data to understand how large the variation in the data is. Conduct normality tests to identify whether the data distribution is normal or non-normal. Assess relationship between two or more variables to see if one can impact another. Pareto chart. Let us start by looking at how to create Pareto charts in Minitab. Steps to create a Pareto chart. A Pareto chart is used to determine which of the defects comprise the vital few and which are the trivial many. Minitab 